Good morning, John. I didn't see you on Tuesday. Oof. I mean, I know that we said we were gonna take vacation days, but now one actually happened and I'm just adjusting. I'm just dealing with that. I mean, vacation's a bit of a stretchy word in this situation. Um, I think that's true of a lot of vacations these days. We go on vacation, by which we mean we're not doing our normal work. We're doing some kind of abnormal work. Whether that's going to a wedding with 500 people you don't know at all. Or like taking a vacation day so you can buy a car because it takes a full freaking day to buy a car. Anyway, the point is, John, you were in Sierra Leone with partners in health, looking at how we, us as individuals, and we, this whole community, might be able to help uh, make life easier there, particularly for pregnant people. And also babies, who are great, unless they decided that it was time to scream every night starting at 2.30 in the morning for no reason. They're still great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a lot right now. And it turns out not great internet where you were at and also not a lot of free time to make a video. So I'm looking forward to hearing more about what happened. You know, while you were in Sierra Leone and I was having four different April Fool's jokes. Sorry, yeah, DFTBA Brewery, not a real thing. Not a real, never gonna be a real thing, but the merch is real. The merch is always real. And also all of John and I's after-tax DFTBA profits gonna be going to, to charity. Probably to help do a project with Partners in Health. So if you want that good old DFTBA Brewing merch, it's available only until today. Maybe we'll make it through the weekend. Also, SciShow P is not a real thing, though it is a real YouTube channel, and if it does get 100,000 subscribers, we will get a silver play button from YouTube that says SciShow P on it, so do with that information what you will. Is there a link in the description? Probably. I, I couldn't tell you for sure. There might be one right here. Just go do it. We're never gonna make another video on that channel, so what do you have to lose? John, am I 38 years old or do I love zines? Yeah, both. This is my friend Valerie's draw a horse scene. They had people draw a picture and send in one picture of one horse. I don't know what's happening here. Occasionally you get a little blurb from the person about their horse. I have personally picked a favorite horse. You can get this. I'll put a link to their Etsy in the description. It's this one. I love how muscly and bony it is. It's like a centaur, but only the torso is of a man. If that was your horse, Great work. I want to do a similar thing. I saw a Reddit thread that was extremely intriguing to me that asked people to describe the bar that they picture when they hear a, like, a man walked into a bar joke. I never thought about this before, but I have a bar. I have a specific bar that I've never been to that has a very weird layout. And I want people to draw me their bars that a man walked into. And maybe I'll just make a video about it. Maybe I'll make a zine about it. But in the meantime, I want you to draw me a bar and I want you to put it into the internet somehow and send it to me at hankandjohn at gmail.com with my bar in the subject line. That's all you have to do, and then I have to figure out what to do with those. Don't worry, I'm fine. I got lots of free time. I don't have to write a book. Oh, God. Sequels are wild. Whew. Recently in the book, I made up a person, and then I was like, this doesn't work, and then I got rid of them, and they don't exist anymore. That's my job! I decide whether you exist. There are too many milks. My son is two and a half years old and he asks for oat milk in his tea. What have I done? What have I done? Send me your bars. Uh, and they may be DFTBA Brewery someday, but they won't. But the merch is real. YouTube.com slash SciShowP. John, I'll see you on Tuesday for real this time. Apparently, I am still capable of making an entirely unscripted video. I guess. What'd you think? Actually, in the comments, let me know what your favorite recent YouTube discovery was. Defunctland is doing a series on Jim Henson, and I'm super psyched about it.